It's a red or yellow. We've gone through canvas oh. samples as well. On that occasion, Amos Shikali decided on a right, yellow, and Caelan Dar spends 10 minutes in the bin. Yeah, and there was a lot of communication between Same his old. assistants stay and there, the Juan. Stay PMO. there, Juan. Stay there. I'll tell you what, though, it's game on now, and Leicester are not taking a backward step. That's for Visa on that barraging run in behind us. Massive room on the right here. Mike Brown was the target, but I tell you what, the pass didn't do him any favours. Anthony Watson did well to make headway at all over that 10 metre line. <laughs> Penalty Leinster. Well, big moment. You move yeah, it, move Gary Ringrose just, just putting the hold pressure on there at a time when Leinster just having been stung by the yellow card. Holding up. And uh, if anything, I think the yellow card is walking up the, the, the huge Leinster crowd. I didn't see a whole lot of Leicester Tiger supporters, and they normally travel in big numbers. There's Watson, his great feet. He's such a, a quality player, Been destroyed with injury over the past 12 months. Yeah, and his, his departure from Bath wasn't exactly friendly terms either. He was expecting a new contract offer. You're it right. never came. The day before his contract was due to expire, he was told he wasn't getting one, and all of a sudden found himself without a club. So he yeah. says, uh, would he forgive them? He said, no, he's not forgiven. Well, I, I, I can oh. see exactly where he's coming from. Now, chance here for Leinster. Stay there, ball stay. Inside the 22. Leicester struggling to contain him. It's gone down as a pile of red bodies. You have to roll away here. <laughs> no well, the referee oh, says no. that Leinster carried it in, and they didn't use it. I question that, Donald. Yeah, I'd like to just see it a little bit closer here. It depends on... Blue on the ground, unplayable, held up. Blue on the ground. Yep. If Leicester got their hands in on the mall early enough, Ross Maloney has been solid out of touch all night. Good drive. They need to get that ball back to Dan Sheehan. Ball is exposed there. We can't, we can't see the Leicester hands around it, but uh, to be fair to uh, Amashu Kelly, he's in the right place. Time is off. Time is off. Time is off. Time is off. So another uh, attention for injury. Scott Penny just uh, uh, taking a knee on the ground. Yeah, and just going back to the tackle again. And Jasper Visa, he's so direct that really you have to try and get two hits on him. That's exactly what Leinster were doing. Scott Penny came in low. Uh, Doris did come in high. And, you know, when you're as tall as he is, you are in that kind of dangerous position. Yeah. Obviously, part of that uh, Springbok back row, Donald, with uh, Peter Steph Dutoy and Kia um, Khaleesi as well. Uh, this guy, he's earned his place in that South African pack. Yeah, he certainly has, and uh, he wasn't rated really in South Africa. Yeah. They left him go, but off to Leicester Tigers. His performances there brought him to the attention of uh, Felix Jones, who looks after the South ball. African players based yeah. in Europe. He was the one who recommended they should look at him again. And, uh, you know, Dwayne Vermeulen is 36 years of age now. He does look as if he's gone that little bit beyond uh, the international stage, even though I wouldn't be surprised if Razi Erasmus still brings him to the World Cup. Yeah. Boy! Set! That's for having a right go in that scrum. It's going forward, and they get the penalty. because uh, Leinster had only seven forward. forwards in the scrum. Seven forwards, and look at the pats on the back for Andrew Porter, for Dan Sheehan and Ty Furlough. Yeah, but there's scrums, you make up your mind in advance. You know there are key times in the game and you decide to go for it because it was a Leicester put in. All the pressure came through, but uh, huge kudos. I don't think there was any number eight in that scrum. Well, no surprise to see Ross Byrne point to the post here, and they're going to take a, a three-point opportunity. This would take the sting out of the Tigers, as well as making it a two-score game. Yeah, a two-score game, plus it eats up another couple of minutes with uh, Caelan Doris in the bin. Le Leinster with no number eight in that scrum. Because it was a, a Leicester scrum, they didn't bring anybody in. So uh, it's even a bigger bonus to get a, a penalty off that. So Ross Byrne then for a 10 point lead. Eight 
Well, his teammates tell us all the time he's the calmest man in those big pressure moments, and that one wasn't. Well, well he's four out of four from the boot. A huge, uh, a, a significant kick given that Caelan Dollis had just received that yellow card, and uh, that's why Leinster are a champion team. But it's put up to them immediately, they strike back. That, that scrum, you just can't get away from it's how big that was. Huge moment in the game, and now a two-score game. Caelan Dollis still in the same bit. The ball there for Jemison Gibson Park. Brown under pressure. O'Brien, what a game he's had, Jimmy O'Brien. Yeah, he's been really good as well tonight. Remember, he was in the centre last week on the wing tonight. And that versatility, I'm sure Andy Farrell will have that in the notebook in terms of uh, now you got. a World Cup squad. High ball from Jack Van Port, please. He's not going out of the fall, it has. The Tigers now, this is where they need cam heads, this is where they need their experienced players to say, all right, let's resettle and yeah. get back to the job. And bear in mind, their captain is off the field. Not sure who has the captain's arm at the moment, but if you're talking about experience, least. there's one of the yeah. most experienced in the game. Well that? Injury? It's uh, Hanro Liebenberg, who's captain Donald, just... OK, time is up, blood, we've got a blood. Yeah. Time is up. Well, he is a leader by example. Played super rugby with the Bulls. He started. 22 games for Leinster or for Leicester this season. Yeah, yeah. doctor, you okay to hear Phenomenal to shift. Okay. okay. It's Caelan Doris, I'm sure. He's quite relieved that uh, he gets the, the chance to come off. back on the field in a couple of minutes. Yeah, as you say, you know, okay, you time is off. given for them. Dan Cole getting ready to come Tiger. in. So too off, Tom West, two new props for Leicester. Yeah, and Leicester don't have a, a massive amount of experience on their bench, but certainly these two guys, Dan Cole. Got his 100 cap for England during yes. the Six Nations and uh, Tom West and from yeah. Wasps. Signed from Wasps midway through the season, as a, a couple of players in the match day squad did as well. Move. When you get uh, quality, it comes free, however much through the unfortunate circumstances no. of Wasps. There, then, on your then snapped up. Out it goes, Henshaw, direct line straight through on Andre Pollard. There for Gibson Park. Out it goes to James Lowe, floated it out to Jimmy O'Brien. Good tackle from Mike Brown and put him down. Sheehan, back with a scrum half. Was burned, flat to Porter, needs a bit of help tackle. here. Just hit the ground. Referee says tackle's called and they're switching it to the middle. Hugo Keenan. Burn again, Henshaw. Ring Rose, Gary Ring Rose. James Lowe inside him, he needs Gibson Park! Jamison Gibson Park gets his 24 against try, and what a time to do that. Well, I just spoke about what champion teams do, and remember, Leinster are the ones down to 14 men, but uh, they just have gone through the gears, just seamless passing out the back here, and again, super offload from Jimmy O'Brien. Gary Ringrose, what a game he's having. Just attracts so much attention. A brilliant support line on the inside from Jimison Gibson Park. Look at Ringrose scanning inside, outside. Picks the best option. And uh, Gibson Park scored under the post against Ulster last week. Nearly under the post here. What a response by Leinster. 25 points to 10. It'll be 27 points to 10. When this one goes over, and Donald, who would have thought a yellow card? Leinster have won that period by 10 points to nil. Yeah, but it was, uh, it was almost a, a shot to them. They knew they had to rise their game, and even physically in that period. But uh, Gary Ring was balling, two hands, keeping his options open. Jimmy O'Brien giving him support on the outside, Gibson Park on the inside. And that's Leinster at their best. Well, James Lowe, I think, in the act of celebrating the try, Donald, he's has managed to injure his leg okay. and he's going off. So we presume it's Kieran Frawley who's going to come in in his place. It is Frawley who's off the bench and onto the pitch. But uh, James Lowe, you'd hope that's not a hamstring pull or something like that. Yeah, James Lowe is vital to Leinster. And, uh, you know, you're only looking. There's a lot of rugby coming up, a lot of knockout rugby. 
And Toulouse potentially in three weeks' time. They have to get past the Sharks, of course, and that won't be a formality, as Munster fans will tell you. Yeah, but I think uh, I think Munster made Sharks look better than they are. I'd expect Toulouse to win that one. And uh, if that transpires, what a semi-final with them back here in a couple of weeks' time. On the Iceland, please, on the Iceland. Look, you can just see the yes, response good. from James Lowe. He's definitely after pulling something. Do you know what? It's okay, when, it's okay. When Gibson Park went in, he, he jumped and pumped his fist to the crowd. He might have just pulled something doing that, which would be so unfortunate. Consider Ryan Baird is down as well. Johnny Sexton in the stand here tonight. I mean, look, you got to win the don't games the and you deal with whatever the, the aftermath is afterwards, but they've lost a lot. They have, and... Uh, Van der Fleer out as well. But that's why squads win trophies. No, backward by... Play backwards by Wed. Play. play on, Matt. It's backwards, says the referee. Still 25 minutes to go in this one. 17 points the gap. Leicester needs something to get back into it. Pollard. Hold Wed, hold six. Carry on. Freddie Stewart after it. Freddie Stewart nudging. Ring rolls out of the way. The vanishing play to Leicester. Frawley off his on. feet to make the tackle. Van Portfleet, deft little kick ahead, back there, Hugo Keenan, straight to Ross Byrne. Back it goes to Ringrose. Here's Ringrose again. Taking two players with him, Dan Sheehan. Just trying to compete on the ground for it. Here's Porter, little <laughs> dummy from him. He gets over the gain line. Yeah, he carries a massive amount of ball, Andrew Porter. He does. Use it now, nine, please. Gibson Park puts one up and it's uh, Frawley is going after it. Stewart takes it. Yeah, again, the way Leicester just shield the catcher against the, the chasers. They get away with it. For, uh, Freddie Stewart did a brilliant blocking line for Brown there. Don't pull him, don't pull him, he's second man. Back with Van Portfleet. Again, plenty of height on this one. Keenan's call for it. Hugo play Keenan, on, brilliant. On. There for Gibson Park. Jack Conan in behind to Ross Byrne. There's Frawley, didn't need to give that no, pass. He was through, he, he was through. He could have kept going. Out it goes, Jimmy O'Brien. Acceleration from Jimmy O'Brien. He's going to go straight into contact. Tackle had to be made, though. Gibson Park, Leinster players queuing up on the right here. Andrew Porter skipping away. Still on his feet. <laughs> Buckaroo himself away from the tackle. Rubber kick through, giving possession away. Importantly to go. Stepped on the ground. Leinster. Is it Ross Byrne? Is it Ross Byrne who wins the penalty? I think it is. Well, he certainly seems pleased with himself. Yeah, it is. Around the neck as well, yeah. And Portfield Holding just on. got lost really from his support and uh, the decision here now they're going for the corner. Well this would be the nail in the coffin down. If they can get seven points from here, it's game over. Yeah, sorry, and just looking at James Lowe is after you just see him pulling up there. Yeah, that's on you please, thanks. He's not happy looking back on that. You can see the well look, it's more his calf and calves. Yeah, they can be. They can take a long time. Sheehan to throw hasn't been a perfect line out from Leinster in this game so far. After 14 for 14 from Dan Sheehan against Ulster last weekend. Yeah, but Leicester compete ferociously in the air. They do this time. Number at the front. Advantage being played to Leinster. Numbers against the Tigers almost at the line. Surely from here. Advantage. They're going to be so hard to stop. It's a penalty try. It's a penalty try, and surely that double end is the winning of this match. Yeah, 24 points of a margin now, and uh, I think okay. somebody's going to get a yellow card here as well. You just see Leicester Perhaps keep their troops on the ground, don't compete in the air. But uh, what a shift by Leinster, I think it's a Dan Cole. Yeah, it's Dan Cole, he should be the one I'd imagine who's going to see yellow. No, it's not. It's no, it's Claire. He's got off the substitute hooker, hooker, so it's Charlie Claire. I think he could have picked any one or two or three, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. 